Hey everybody, what is going on on my Facebook and Instagram friends out there? I am standing in the Cougar 364 BHL. My favorite part of this camper is actually right back there, but we're going to do it last because I think it's the coolest part. So I'm in the main living area right now. As you see, we've got a booth dinette that will turn into a bed, so that's going to give you some additional sleeping options, even though you really don't need it. We have our theater seats. These do have uh, heat and massage, and of course they do recline. You even got a couple of nice cup holders. That is directly across from our entertainment system. As you see, we've got a nice big TV that is on a swivel. We have our Bluetooth CD DVD player right below that. And then one of my favorite things, I've had it in all my campers. You've got that big electric fireplace. Definitely great for early season, late season camping. Gonna take the chill out of the air. And if it's nice out and you just want to turn the lights on for a little ambiance, you can totally do that. As we come around to the kitchen, we do have a residential size stainless steel refrigerator. As you're going to see, you have tons and tons of space in here for all of your groceries. No problem for extended vacations. We've got our standard three burner stove here. Nice big microwave. And we've got a large kitchen island that does have a 50-50 stainless steel sink in it with the detachable sprayer. And you do have a lot of storage options down below here with cabinets and drawers, as well as a few cabinets and drawers over here on the side with your microwave. So a lot of storage options. If you don't think that's enough, check this out. You've got a nice big pantry that you can store all your dry goods in. You could also keep your board games, extra coats, jackets, blankets, pillows, you name it, you've got the space for it. Now I'm gonna go up to the front of the unit which is actually where our bathroom and master bedroom is. So here in the bathroom, it is a pass-through bathroom. We've got that neo-angled clear glass shower. And I'll tell you, I was a little unsure about the clear glass until I got my camper that has it. I actually really like it. Not only does it make the room feel bigger, even though it is a big room, it's just cool. You also have the moon roof up there, so you've got the additional height toilet of course and then our sink we've got a nice big kitchen uh, bathroom sink not kitchen sink storage below as well as a medicine cabinet then we come back to the master bedroom so we've got a queen size bed this does have storage under the bed so it lifts up gives you storage you've got a nice big bank of closets over there for storage as well as a his and hers closet and then as you see we have nightstands on both sides and those do have charging uh, USB as well as regular power and drawers on both sides so you can hide snacks from each other if you want. But plenty of room for your iPads, iPhones, CPAP machine, whatever you need. As we come back down into the main unit, I wanna show you my favorite part of this camper. And that is this extra room back here. It's legitimately a second bedroom. So you've got a full-size bed here, You've got another bank of closets. You have this huge loft up here. Maximum capacity of 800 pounds. But look at this. They've got a place for their own TV. They've got plenty of storage up there. And you can mount a TV right here that's viewable from both beds if you want. As well as, if I go ahead and keep spinning around, you actually have another half bath. So we've got our sink with storage below, medicine cabinet, and of course toilet. And let me tell you, this is perfect if you have older kids that want to travel with you, in-laws that want to travel with you, friends that want to travel with you. You don't have to worry about them not having their own privacy because they've got their own space. And in addition, having this second entry into this bathroom is great because it's going to cut down on foot traffic running in and out of the camper. So now I'm going to show you a couple of things on the outside of the unit. We'll start right here at the back. This does have a small outside kitchen, which again, I'm talking about cutting down on the foot traffic running in and out. This is great for that too. You can keep all your drinks and stuff out here. We've got a ladder on this, so it is a fully walkable roof, meaning you can get up there for cleaning and maintenance, no problem at all. On this side of the unit, we'll see that we actually have two really nice sized powered awnings. Those do have LED lights as well. More storage, we're talking about all that inside storage. Check out all the outside storage you have. And then I do wanna show you the outside command center on this. So you'll note up here, you have your three-point auto leveling, or four-point auto leveling, I'm sorry. 
So what's nice about that, I have the exact same thing in my camper. Get to the campground, push a button, boom, you're leveled. And what's really cool is when you go to leave the campground, you push another button and it will raise back up to the height you needed uh, to hook up. So here's our outside command area. We have an outside shower. It's great for washing off pets, or if you go to the beach or something, you can wash sand off your feet. You can also do all your winterization and all your hookups right here. All your hoses and cords come through here so you can close this pass through storage and have it nice and clean. I also wanna mention that we're out here on the lot, and I don't know if you could tell, but I had all the lights on. That is because all of the new Keystone models come with the Solar Flex 200 on them, which is what this one has. So you see our Solar Flex box right there. That's going to basically keep your battery charged for you. What's really cool though with the Solar Flex, it's in the name, it is flexible, it's easy to upgrade. For instance, I upgraded ours from the 200 to the 400, and I gave myself seven plugs on the inside that will actually work off solar. So that's pretty cool that you get this at no additional cost, and then you have that ability to upgrade. And as we all know, upgrading is a lot cheaper than installing initially. So there you have it, the 364 BHL. I did forget to mention the weight at the beginning of the unit. We're at like 11,300 pounds on this unit, so no problem for some of your bigger trucks. As always, if you've got any questions, comments, or anything like that, leave them down below. We'll talk to you soon.